It's trust time. Look at that. So this side upstairs is one of the sides that hasn't been put into place yet. But if we turn to this side, you can see blocking at the top. I'll, I'll get a better video. But that blocking is spacing all of those trusses out. And then at that point, it's all nailed down into place. So it's this east elevation here that does not have the trusses nailed to the wall. So we braced and strapped to this wall to get it perfectly plumb before nailing these trusses. Now that this side is blocked and in place, we have string line running down. My dad is marking the tails. With that mark, we're gonna cut the tails off so that they're all even, obviously. And then on the outside goes a piece of facial board. So for this next step, now that we have the fronts all squared off, we need to get the tops even. So we had a couple checks for this. First, we ran a string line all the way down from end to end, but we were worried about the string line sagging. So we set up a, a laser level and then all we did is measure from the top of this corner to that laser line to get our distances. Our goal is for this to be pretty flat from front to rear. So we measured out all these distances on each truss between the top of the truss at the corner and that level line. So with those values in mind, we're going to take a planer and plane the top of those boards Trying to keep everything, of course, as uh, parallel as we can with each other. But, like I said, to get the top of those corners perfectly flat all the way down. What's that planer? This thing is sick. Cordless, look at that. Don't put your finger in there. Ow, ow. Yeah, it's got a bag to catch the sawdust. So we're gonna keep planing and measuring until we get it right. All the carpenters who've died on the job who spread these ashes. So now we're on the front of the house. After the tails are cut, we then put a piece of fascia board on here. This is gonna go all the way around the house, obviously. This board on here. And then after this fascia board on the sides as well, we put on this starter board again. It's the V rustic. So when you look underneath, man, it looks beautiful. I love that. And we also put on a big ass gutter. I think this guy's 61 feet long. We gotta do gutters obviously all the way around the house. And just to clarify why we're doing just this one side of the house first with the gutter and everything, because it looks like we're getting ahead of ourselves. We have to take the scaffolding down off this side of the house so that we can resume with the rest of the house. for reference not super bright obviously underneath it but it looks freaking amazing we've worked our way down to this end three high job dead we have uh, we have a fourth one to set up but we're not gonna do that yet because we have to put sheeting on the roof and, and long story short it's easier to do it this way three high one more eventually up top to cover that and then a little bit of artwork on the corners So we've done a lot of work on the second story roof over the garage, but we haven't paid much attention to uh, this main living room front area roof. So again, here's the entryway of the house. And as you look over here, you got the living room. This roof, we haven't been able to do much, especially with the end because of the scaffolding. We took that scaffolding down and now we're getting all these trusses perfect where they need to go. Uh, you can see my dad stabilizing it with some 1x4 up there. And I'm working on the blocking up front. So we're going to set all these guys and then move on. And if you're wondering why there's all these tarps on the roof, it's because my dad's a cheap bastard. Uh, <laughs> the house gets really hot without a roof, obviously, uh, and insulation and all that good stuff. So this is enough to block the sun to keep the house cool for now. Yeah, the blocks. There's our layout line. Got a new block. 
Set it down in there. Line it up. Hard to tell, but it's right in the line with layout. We'll nail her in. Fast forward a little bit. We got these end trusses out of the way. Thankfully we were able to keep this bottom scaffolding here. Uh, and then we blocked out the rest. So we're finished up with setting those trusses for now. Now we're moving on to the porch. My dad's marking and measuring up the posts. So we get set into these guys. See a couple posts down there. The beam is gonna go right in that hole in there. And here's a quick time lapse of us setting those posts. And before we set the beams, we're gonna stabilize the post with one by. And here's what that porch looks like. Those beams stood up and gently fastened down here. Uh, and the one by fours going between them. Uh, believe it or not, I mean, yeah, it's just a few sticks on one by fours, but that's freaking stiff. Yeah, all level, both directions. And now the next step is to set the six by 12 beams now that the six by six posts are in place. Perfect. Good job, Dad. And now these five beams are cut. We're gonna put them on the porch. Okay, call us weak, I don't care. We got it up there, but it was not easy. Uh, we got the first beam set up. We did this one by hand because the tractor barely doesn't reach high enough. So we're gonna weld up our little uh, little thing for the tractor so that we can lift these up with a boom and set them in place. They're, they're pretty heavy. And after a short intermission, we have this guy welded up. So now we can use the tractor to help lift up these beams. They're, they're pretty heavy to do by hand. As the old adage goes, work smarter, not harder. Just a little bit of welding, and we were able to put these up not only a lot easier and safer, but a lot faster. Look at that. Man, look at those beams. Obviously, these one buys are not staying here forever, but it helped us stabilize earlier. Whew, look at that. And I wasn't here for this part of it, so you're gonna see some stuff that my dad did but right here, he laid out all of the two by sixes that will then make up the framing for the top of the porch. These will connect those horizontal beams back to the rest of the house. In this next picture, you're gonna see all of those two by sixes installed into place. The bracing is still up, obviously, to make sure that everything is still dead straight and level. But once we were comfortable with that, the bracing then came down, and here you have it. And now that the roof trusses and porch framing are in place, the next step is to add sheeting. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.